Is that it? No, it's the other shit. Look at the numbers. Oh, I'm just gonna count them five. <laughs> We got two more to do now. This one's leaving. That's a whip. That's a twin turbo car that's going next. Badass. She is loud as well. This one has my favorite party button here. Scramble booze. Holly. Party. Hey, did we do your variables? Does this have variables key, does it? Yeah. Who did these? I did. Oh, Slightly more. Nope, good to go. We're almost ready to party over here. So check out how clean this thing is. Brand new, everything. Super shiny. I don't want to do so you got everything? Thanks, bud. I appreciate it, man. Cool, man. Have a good one. All right, you guys. Have fun. Thank you. It's a 4X cam? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to fix that cranking now. But usually it takes a while for it to sink, and then as soon as it sinks, it'll just fire up. I'll work on that. Let me work on a uh, drivability and startup and I'll start breaking in the motor for a little bit. So we'll do the whole braking procedure, like 30 minutes or so. And then uh, what fuel is on the E85? Yeah. How many gallons? 40. And the motor is what? 1300 cc's, big fuel pump, Clint Garrett. G35 900. Cool. Party time. So right now we just spent some good amount of time breaking in the motor. So we're going higher RPMs with very light throttle. Then we put load on the dyno, bring it back, decel it, and uh, try to seat those rings because the motor is brand new. So we'll spend some more time. This is the first heat cycle, we'll do another heat cycle, and then we'll start doing a transient throttle tuning. The headers are nice and glowing red. Is that the first heat cycle on huh? yet? Everything's gonna turn that color. Check out the color on the headers. It's funny because I'm sitting there tuning the part throttle uh -huh. and I can just feel the turbos like if I just go another 2% more throttle, you go like, Really? Yeah, it's just like I'm literally, I feel the boost coming in and I haven't even touched the throttle yet. Like that's how responsive it feels. What well, RPM you think they're going to come in? Like three grand probably. So it's going to have like nasty power band, nasty torque. Go, heat cycle number two. So spent some time breaking in the motor. I did uh, first pull half throttle and then right now I laid into it a little bit. So we're making 780 to the wheels, about nine pounds of boost, 4,900 RPMs. We're a little bit on the rich side, so I'm gonna make a couple more adjustments. I don't need to do a full pull until I get my air fuel, everything perfect. So just getting to know the motor and see what it likes. She seems good. It would have made over a thousand if I had let it go, but I let off early. My fuel looks good. So like I said, we're just getting to know the motor, but third hit, she made 971. I saw boost go up to about 10 PSI. So it creeped up a little bit, timing is way low, but she's gonna make some jam, that's for sure. All right, so the injector duty is kind of high, so we're gonna bump up the base pressure since we have a big pump, and we're gonna try to make up that difference. Hey, how much fuel's in there? Uh, I think there's a level gauge on it. 40 gallons, no, that gauge is kind of strong. It's got way more than fuel. Um, yeah, okay. 40, we have 40 gallons in it before when we got here. Oh, damn! Ah, uh, damn, everything just wants to make pow pow tonight. Man, that's a fourth hit. So, let me see what the injector duty was. Wow, rich, so I gotta take away fuel. Are you happy? Yeah, very. 82%, but we're, I'm 
it's creeping boost and I'm way low on uh, timing so I'm gonna add timing right now and it's gonna bring that power up and I'm gonna take a lo little bit of fuel out but it looks like we're gonna make about 1200 down boost is creeping up to I think I saw 11 or 12 pounds but like way high up in RPM it was still making power I just let off like it was gonna make 1100 right there I just I just let off but it sounds like it's singing up top The only thing is the clutch, it feels soft. The clutch right there, like after that pull, I can feel the engine still, um, it was still grabbing, even though I have the clutch all the way in. You can feel the tires, but, so I added a little bit of timing because I told you yeah. I started retarded just to see what the motor likes and we picked up 100 horsepower. It's crazy, comes up fast. How much boost was that? Same, I haven't touched boost. It's just, I'm, I'm trying to get to know the motor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're gonna need much boost. <laughs> That's good though, right? Yeah, so right there, it actually brought the boost down. Oh no. Yeah, what do we do about this scramble button now? So right there, if I rev it, it'll make uh, 1200. I think if you do some 2100 injectors, they'd call it a day. Still drive good though? With yeah. The big, yeah, like stock. So right there, our closed loop correction was uh, up top. To hit our target AFR, we had 2% correction. Transient throttle, 2%, so we're good. Left AFR, right AFR, they're 0.1 from each other. So both <laughs> banks are doing well. So our average AFR was 7.6 between the two banks, and that's what we're shooting for. We did a couple pulls and motor's starting to break in. So when you take it home, change the oil filter, make sure no oil shavings. You can change the oil in it, or just change the oil filter. Take it out, have some fun, bring some oil with you, swap it out, call it a day. Good to go after that. At this point, it's pretty much broken in. Let's pull out a spark plug, look at the spark plug, and then we'll enjoy some burritos. And yep. then we'll go for, uh, if we do like 90% injector duty, it'll make 1300. Okay. We can see. We can turn it up and then turn it back down. Okay. If we can do scramble boost, maybe another 50 horsepower would be cool. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Whatever you want. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, man. She's doing well. Everything just as planned. It's funny because every time I get him to record a video, cars always have issues. Like, you like brought him for my shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like 99% or what? No, 95. 95? <laughs> you know, I used to run my Integra back in the day at like 115, injector was just stuck open. I ran like that for four years. <laughs> and it had two different pistons in it. No way. I swear, it had two different pistons. I, my, I sold that motor to one of my buddies. Did you tell he, him about the two different pistons? No, I did not. I sold them for like 1600 bucks. And he's like, I'm gonna rebuild them. I'm like, why? He's like, well, it's like old. And he's like, I ran it for like a year. You ran it for four years. I'm like, does it smoke? He's like, no. I'm like, does it burn oil? He's like, no. I'm like, is the oil pressure good? He's like, yep. I'm like, why are you rebuilding? He's like, oh, I just want to rebuild it. I'm like, all right. Rebuild it, he calls. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you had two different pistons in here? I'm like, oh yeah, I remember. I, I money shifted to four, uh, back to second gear in Vegas, dropped the valve, and then my buddy had two CP pistons, and I had two JP good pistons, and he had done some shit to his motor, so I'm like, hey, can I, can I have two of your pistons? He's like, yep. They were like, I think the same compression. Yeah. Like, we measured them, but just different brands and different valve reliefs. Yeah threw it together. It's all out of balance and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, no, that shit ran for four years. That's hey, sick. back in the broke days, he <laughs> makes things work. See, don't do not do this. Don't bring me a burrito tuning your car. Look at this thing. It's big as my arm, because then I'm going to take a nap. I mean, you're not getting tuned that day. God, damn, you want some? This is like the biggest burrito I've ever seen. What, what was this, like 50 bucks? Yeah, this is like a child, bro. Mm. Oh, yeah, don't give me a eating fuck. Don't put that in the video button. <laughs> I have two spices. Wanna see it? Mm. Gorgeous. Perfect, mm. right? Perfect. Perfection. You use a little bit more timing, but look at that. Put that back in the box and return it. I know, right? <laughs> Graph looks good, it's creeping a little bit boost. Um, hmm. Is that like a four port thing, the creep? No, it has nothing to do with your boost controller. That's just uh, the manifold design. And you got efficient turbos and the manifold design. So at lower boost levels, it'll creep. But as we start turning up the boost, then it'll fix. So the graph looks really good. Like right at 6,800 RPM spiked up to 69.7 and I didn't hit the clutch. So that leads me to believe the clutch slipped. And for sure you can tell it's slipping a little bit up top. The thing is right there it made 13.6 PSI up top 
but down low we only had about 10.8 uh, 5200 so what i can do is if i were to go here add some boost and then leave the boost the same up top it'll probably pick up another 50 60 horsepower up top so it'll make like 12 50 12 60 at like 13 and a half 14 psi but the torque will go up from 940 to like 1100 and this clutch you said it's only good for 1200 no, i don't know i heard it's good i don't know if someone told me that but someone told you it's good for 1200 yeah but they probably don't know what they're talking about okay are we curious to see the scramble boost or no I don't know, are we? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Yeah, the only thing is like we don't we don't really have fuel though. So can I set my scramble boost at this power? This is the lowest you're gonna make. <laughs> I know, it's actually at seven pounds. Wait, so the boost controller is not even on? Not yet. <laughs> of course. So I said we should just put it at seven. What spring do you guys put? We have ten. Yeah, so it's creeping up to, uh, yeah. That'll be fine. I'll take a little bit of timing down low and just. This is the lowest? This is the Dune tune? <laughs> Your pedals are tuned, bro. <laughs> I thought we were like fucking maxing out the, 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 the uh, boost controller and shit already. No, you haven't gotten into that yet. It's spring. Is the drivability good or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna double check the drivability right now. Spend some more time on it, but I think honestly, with the, if the clutch didn't slip, it would, at the same boost level, it'll make 1200 like on mm -hmm. a nice cold pool yeah so yeah get some bigger injectors get the clutch adjusted right now yeah adjust it because right now even mm -hmm. if you're if you have your in mm -hmm. it's gonna probably tries to roll right now it's doing on the dyno because there's not much load yeah and on the sand it might not roll but eventually after i did the pool it got worse and worse so you just might need to adjust the throw on yeah, this yeah. And then once you get the injectors, if you want to turn it up, then we can configure the boost and then go with... Uh, How much power can we make with the turbos? I, I'm thinking like 900 aside, so 1800 probably. Yeah, I mean, we're running 13 pounds and it's making 1200. So if we turn up to 25, 30 pounds, so 20 pounds, we're probably looking at like 15 plus 16 to the tires so right now 13 pounds so we have seven psi we should be able to make at least 35 per psi so that should put us close to 1500 at 20 pounds 25 to 30 pounds so yeah around there at least 16 to 1800 as long as we don't run into like any crazy back pressure issues or anything else but i doubt it everything's huge the air cleaners worked out too you want to take them out do a pool you think so yeah try it yeah. do that might as well, you're on the dyno. Yeah. We took the filters out. Right now we're going to test a pool without filters on. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's sick. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> ah, what are the... You just saw it? No, you see that shit? <laughs> Look at the numbers. Oh, I'm just gonna count five. One, two, three, four, five. It made one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that's what it made. So we took the filters out and so we picked up exactly 64 horsepower. 64 horsepower. That's crazy. Yeah, so free 64 horsepower. You just got free 60, well, I But you can't drive with it. Yeah, well, you can put bigger ones. I told you to put bigger ones from the beginning. Bro, I'm telling you, once those big ass turbos light up, they want to they wanna suck some air in. I was tuning a car one time and it sucked a fan in. Like, luckily, the fan that I was using, it was it just went against yeah. the housing and the car just stopped revving. I'm like, what the hell? And then the guy's like, oh shit. That's fucking we had crazy. to pull the fan off of it. Luckily, he had a shroud so it didn't mess up the turbo or yeah. anything, but. That's Did nice. you see my clutch was slipping? Uh, like right at the top, I felt like I was riding the rev limiter before I was in. I think we're good. I mean, one, two, three, four, five is a good number. That just tells you right there to stop. That just, the motor's telling you like, hey, we're good here. So we'll stop here. This is the lowest boost he has pretty much. So later, if you want, you can change the wastegate springs, bring it back, and then uh, change injectors. We'll do scramble boost, and then go up to 1400 if you want, whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. So that's good. We're good for tonight. We're gonna wrap it, call it here. We'll get some videos of this thing at the desert, and uh, she's going fly.